specific heat of a highly anisotropic solid. Consider a solid which has a highly anisotropic crystalline layer structure. Each atom in the structure can be regarded as performing simple harmonic oscillations in three dimensions. The restoring forces in directions parallel to a layer are very large. Hence, the natural frequencies of oscillations in the x and y directions lying within the plane of a layer are both equal to a value omega parallel, which is so large that h bar omega parallel is much, much greater than 300 K, the thermal energy at room temperature. On the other hand, the restoring force perpendicular to a layer is quite small, hence the frequency of oscillations omega uh, perpendicular of an atom in the z direction perpendicular to a layer is so small that h bar omega perpendicular is much less than 300 K. On the basis of this model, model, what is the molar specific heat at constant volume of this solid at 300 Kelvin? So we have two situations, uh, oscillations in the plane of the uh, film and perpendicular. Now if uh, we have h bar omega perpendicular much greater than kt uh, remember that the harm quantum harmonic oscillator has energy levels and plus one half h bar omega so so that the separation between energy levels is h bar omega so if the separation is so large much greater than kt that means uh, the classical approximation should not hold for oscillations in the plane the classical approximation should not hold the temperature is too low. Temperature is too low. Room temperature is too low for this system. Uh, and therefore, uh, oscillations uh, parallel to a layer, oscillation modes, parallel to a layer are not yet excited at room temperature. Okay. So uh, if you didn't consider this, uh, classically we would say Classically, we would say the total energy will consist of oscillations in x, px squared over m, plus 1 over 2 alpha parallel x squared bar, plus 1 over 2 py squared over m, plus 1 over 2 alpha parallel to the layer y square bar using equipartition theorem this would be 1 over kt times 4 equals to 2 kt but as i said because classical approximation doesn't hold this is not a valid uh, conclusion so this cannot be said uh, because these modes are not excited okay on the other hand if we consider the oscillations perpendicular to the layer, so only those oscillations where we have h bar omega perpendicular that is much less than 300 times k, the kt value at room temperature, which is ktr, uh, these modes, modes are excited. And classical approximation holds.
Therefore, we can calculate the average energy as Pz squared over 2m average value plus 1 over 2 alpha value for perpendicular oscillations z square bar which is 1 over 2 kt times 2 there are two quadratic terms kt okay so if i have uh, n oscillators n oscillators would have a total average energy n times epsilon bar and kt and for one mole I would have total energy to be Na kt Avogadro's numbers times Boltzmann constant T which is RT which will give me for molar specific heat del E bar del T at constant volume to be equal to R so this would be my answer so this is an interesting question we have a highly anisotropic solid anisotropic means the properties of the solid depends on the direction and we have a, a behavior which depends on if we are looking at parallel to uh, a layer or perpendicular to a layer so if we are a, a parallel to a layer the oscillation frequencies are so high uh, because the uh, that has to do with the restoring forces being too large so maybe the alpha parallel is too large so the bonds are too strong uh, then we have uh, the uh, oscillation modes not excited at room temperature so uh, this is the case when t is equal to tr so the classical approximation will not hold the we have discrete uh, energy levels as in the quantum harmonic oscillator and these modes are not yet excited at room temperature too low energy therefore we can only talk about oscillations perpendicular to the layer uh, in which case we have room temperature ktr value much greater than h bar omega the alpha value or the restoring force is small in this case and these modes are excited and with that we have only a one-dimensional oscillation uh, on the z-axis that gives us a mean energy per oscillator kt for n oscillators n kt for one mole rt and molar specific heat would be equal to r